Right. <sighs> Take six. Um, this is my third mock review with Discharge. Um, I'll start off with something a bit more scary. Um, because he has a secret function in his leg. And by secret I mean completely unintentional. So, he's not particularly sturdy when he does this. So, I think I'd better show you at the start, just in case. Oh, well done, he didn't fall over. Um, this is essentially a shin gun of sorts. I can't imagine him using it much in battle unless he's fighting a load of midgets. Uh, so, yeah, I'll just push him back to normal. Um, this is, yes, like I said, this is Discharge. Uh, he, I consider him to be my first proper titan because um, the other titans, that, the first titan that I did was the Dark Brother who was even bigger than this one but he was a combiner mock so he didn't really have these pistons um, he's heavily based off Bumblebee as you can see the transformer I mean um, to the insect as well and uh, actually, I'll just give you a little view. I'll start off with the head. I personally think that heads are the most important part of a mock because that is what defines them. Uh, I always start a mock at the head, no exceptions. Um, I particularly like this one because it's a melt. It's an inverted meltdown one with little ears or whatever you want to call them there. Um, the torso, I'm really fond of the torso because it's so so compact. Um, the shoulder connection is a particular favourite because it's not actually connected to the chest uh, directly but it's connected through the back making it much stronger including this connection there and a piston at the back. Uh, got the car bumper on the chest, I thought that was a nice addition. Um, Slight waist articulation, it's a bit restricted, I will admit, but it's there. Um, the legs are one of my favourites, and they've received quite nice comments. Um, they've got the Ghost Blaster, which I think is quite nicely integrated there. The wheel is on the knee, and then the foot, nothing too special, but I like them anyway. Um, that's his little magnet hand, I thought that was quite nice. Four-way symmetry, by the way. That's something you don't see very often. Uh, I'll just turn them around. Do, 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 do. As you can see, I had to put quite a lot of weight on the back so that you wouldn't fall over. Also, a shout out to Baralex for getting me the Rakshishthar as a prize when I won his Beast of Greece contest with the ever favourite Cancer. Um, old school uh, legs connect leg connections, extra. Um, arm connections there that looks like it's not in, but trust me, it is. There you go. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'll just put you back on here. Yes, as I was saying about the arms, um, they're much more sturdy because I can hold you can hold them out a bit wider. Obviously because of the size of him, he's not going to be able to hold anything too weighty out like that, clearly. But at least, you know, you can do a, a cool pose or two or something. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Working mid up, obviously. Um, the Rakshi spine doesn't really get in the way. Um, so, yeah. He was the one who started off my Hero Fafari um, characters building project thing. So yeah, I'm, I'm quite proud of him. And I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.